Hey, this is my exporting audio from Pro Tools tutorial. Uh, let's begin with uh, making a click track. <clears throat> I like to export all of my audio files exactly the same length to an even number of bars uh, at this tempo of the session that the session is in. I've predetermined that this session is at 90 BPM. But the first thing I'm going to need is a click track. So we go over here under click under track and we say click, create click track and I always like a nice preset that has no uh, no accents on one so it doesn't matter where your bars start and if you add a 2-4 bar somewhere in the song it won't make a difference to the click uh, next let's go over here and find out how long the longest audio file is and it looks like if we go to oh, we have to make sure that the session here is in bars and beats so if we go to uh, looks like 127 bar 127 is as long as the session is the longest audio file so now we're gonna make an audio track and we're gonna switch over here and export this click track out bus, out bus 1 and make the input to the audio track bus 1 put it into record make sure we're at the uh, top of our session Let's name this click, and the session tempo is 90 BPM. That way the click track has written into the title the tempo. So anybody that you send this to, they're going to see on the click track the tempo. They're going to set their DAW session up for 90 BPM. And when they import the audio files, they already have a click track that for sure goes along with the audio you did. So let's say OK to that, and let's record a couple bars. Actually, we only really need one bar. Uh, we're going to highlight this bar, and we're going to repeat it by hitting Option R 127 times. Okay, now we're going to consolidate this, and consolidating is something you're going to need for the rest of these tracks. Uh, consolidation is under Edit and it's this command let me find it I usually just use a quick key so I have to sit here and remember where this is at here consolidate regions as you can see it's under edit consolidate regions uh, shift option shift option 3 shift option 3 so I usually just use the shift option 3 command shift option 3 and there we go it consolidated that into one region so now we can choose the down arrow and we, if we hold shift in the down arrow, we can just go all the way down to all these other tracks like this. Shift option three. It takes a second here to do all this, but you can see it's pretty fast. Great. We now have all of our tracks at the same exact length per bar with a click track. We're just going to highlight all of them again by holding shift down and up and down arrow. And then we're going to come over here to the regions list and we're going to say export regions as files. We want them to be WAV files. We want them to be multiple mono. We want them to be the session. Uh, this session happens to be 24 bits, so let's keep them the same and this session sample rate is 44.1. Although, as you can see, you can send it at different rates, but you always want to have wave, broadcast wave, and you always want to have multiple mono. Okay, now, let's choose a folder. Let's make a folder called the name of the session, uh, song title, wish I could spell here today, uh, you know, exported files. <laughs> I really can't spell them bad. There we go. We choose that, and now we say export. There you see it's exporting each uh, audio file we just made. 
it's all the same length. We'll come back to this in a second. Okay, those are all exported now. Uh, one thing I, I, I neglected to mention at the very beginning. Uh, make sure that your session, when you when you uh, find the bars and beats, after we had gone from minutes and seconds to bars, let's also make sure that the session is in grid mode and not slip. If it's in slip or shuffle, or any mode other than grid, then when you make your exact bar, you could be off a little bit. If we zoom in really really far here, you'll see that from far out it looked like I was on the bar, but I wasn't. So if we make sure that we're in grid mode and that for in fact we are in bars, when we, when we make our selection, it'll give us an exact number of bars. Uh, and I, it was actually 129 bars. I thought it was 127, but be that as it may, just always make sure that uh, before you do your consolidating, that the the ruler here, that the sessions and bars up here, bars and beats, that the grid value is a full bar, and that you're in grid mode. Okay, okay. So I've exported all my audio files to that folder that we made. Uh, I'm going to save this session, and I'm going to close it. And now we're going to check our work. We're going to make a new session here. Let's make a blank session. Uh, broadcast WAV files, that's always the best file to use. Don't use AIIF uh, because the timestamp doesn't always work. And Sound Designer 2 is an older file format that Mac uses and it doesn't go past 44.1 or 48K. So if you're working with 88.2 or 96K or above files, it, it's not supported. Broadcast WAV files are uh, cross-platform plat supported. They always have a timestamp. Always use broadcast wave files. Always, always, always. Okay, so open this up. We're going to call this uh, import audio. And there's my famous bad typing. Check. Okay, we've got a blank session. Uh, I'm not sure what version of Pro Tools you're using. In, in some newer versions of Pro Tools, you can just grab the audio and just drag it over here to the tracks region. I'll show you how we do that. We find our session here. Import audio, export. Where did I put that folder now? Here we go, song title. Export audio. Here we go. See, so here's all of our all of our audio files. We just click in, on all those, and we just throw them into the session. And see, they just magically import. They're all the proper length. If I were to make a click track right here with the session, we would see how it's locked up tight. Oh. It's off a bit. See, we have this session. We have to make 90 BPM. So we click over here in the tempo and make it 90 BPM. And I knew that because the name of the click here. Let's make it so we can view the name in the regions here. Regions name. See, the click's name 90 BPM. So if I was a somebody across the planet and you'd given me this session, I would know to make my session at 90 BPM. And now listen to the clicks. See, they're all in, all in sync. Okay, now, what if you have an older version of Pro Tools and you can't just drag and drop? You can't, you can't just drag and drop. I'll show you how you get it in for you then. Select, oh, clear selected. We'll just leave our, uh, we'll just leave our tempo where it's at now. Okay, we just go to File Command and we go to Import Audio. And then we find the folder. And we highlight all the audio here. We can just Apple A. Well, I, uh, I guess Apple A doesn't work. So we just highlight all of it with a shift and click all the way to the bottom. And they're over here in the regions and current file. We have to make sure we hit add. And then we say done. And then we say yes, we want them to be a new track. And that's how you do it with an older version of Pro Tools. Uh, <clears throat> okay, that's it. I hope that this helps you. 
Uh, if you have any questions, you can always contact me via email. Uh, Eric Greedy, www.ericgreedy.com has a contact button, and I can always be reached that way. Okay, thank you very much, and have fun exporting your audios and Pro Tools.